Well, obviously a terrific win for uh, for our players. I uh, couldn't be more proud of the way that that, uh, that we competed. Um, I didn't think we played very well in the first half. I thought we were a little nervous. Really, we started the game. I thought we were getting a lot of good shots, but we didn't make any. Uh, like one for seven maybe to start. Um, I just try to keep convincing our players to hang in there. And, uh, you know, if we can make a couple shots and and uh, try to bring the game a little closer, I thought we'd have a chance at the end. Um, North Carolina did a good job. They played well for 38 minutes. Um, you know, they really kept us at bay. We made a couple good runs in the second half, and they put it back up to eight or ten. Um, and then all of a sudden, we obviously got hot and made a couple shots. They, they turned it over a couple times. And, you know, I thought our kids really executed down the stretch. I thought the last five or six minutes of regulation and then overtime, um, we executed our offense really well and got good shots. We got some layups. Um, so it was a fantastic comeback and, and uh, certainly a terrific win for us. Coach, when you get off to that rough of a start shooting-wise, especially, I think, through the first two segments of the first half, what kind of things do you have to do to try and uh, remedy that kind of thing? Well, you're just, as a coach, you're looking at your shot selection. Is Are you taking bad shots? Uh, if you're taking bad shots, then you know, you're not going to make a very good percentage. If you feel like you're getting good shots, then you need to encourage your players to keep shooting. Um, you know, we don't have a big post presence, so we're going to have to shoot some threes to beat bigger teams. And uh, our team knows that. And, uh, you know, that's the one thing that's powerful about the three-point shot is if you make three in a row, you can make three in a row in a minute, and their ten-point lead is gone. And that's what's really hard about finishing games. Um, when you're playing with a lead and it's – you know, uh, you're not going to shoot as quickly. You're just naturally going to be a little bit more passive, and the team who's behind is playing just the other way. They're in an attack mode, and so they're aggressively making plays. And if you make a couple good plays in a row, you have a chance to steal momentum, and that's kind of what happened today. Brad, Amir kind of dragged you through the end of regulation there. <laughs> and what, what could you kind of see with him? And then were you surprised UNC didn't foul up three at the end? No, because... Um, you know, I've done both. I do both. Sometimes I foul. Sometimes I don't foul. We fouled at NC State last year and lost the game. My 90% free throw shooter missed four free throws um, down the stretch, and we ended up losing, fouling, uh, with nine seconds left. And so, you know, I guess the numbers say to do it, but, you know, as coaches, you know, we play it with our gut. The guy across from me is in the Hall of Fame. He's won three national titles. I think if I were his fan base, I would I'd live with his decision making. And Amir, Amir was fantastic. Um, you know, we ran a great play on that last basket to get him a shot, a little squeeze play that, that got him a tough. And it wasn't. I mean, it was it was contested. He made a big time shot, and uh, you know that's what good players do is is they've got to carry their team in, in uh, difficult situations. He made a terrific layup in overtime when he attacked and finished with his left. Um, you know, he made high-level plays, and uh, that's what you got to do. You got to have guys that are doing that to win at this level. Coach, we saw the post game to the streak. I mean, how important was that? I'm sure you guys were just so tired of hearing about it. Yeah, you know, yes. I mean, we don't. It's probably not as big a mountain like down in Clemson every day as people think it is. Um, we're certainly glad to have it past us and not be asked about it anymore, and we can move on. Um, to other things that we need to accomplish in our program. But, um, you know, it, it's just nice for former players and fans and everybody that, like, we can we can put that to bed. And now it's over, and, and uh, again, we can try to do, do better things. And uh, this was a great road win. Um, you know, road wins in this league are hard, and, and to come back the way we did to do it uh, just makes you really proud as a, as a coach of your players. Right. What can, what can this win do for this team right now, just in terms of the springboard and everything? Yeah, you know, I, I hope we can build on it. We've actually played reasonably well since Christmas. Like, I thought we played well in the Miami game and, and made some bad plays down the stretch and lost it. Um, but we really controlled the game. Um, so that one got away from us. And then we played very well against NC State. Um, and we didn't play as well at, at – for the full 40 minutes tonight, but we did play well when it mattered most. We played well down the stretch. Um, and so it was, you know, you hope that your players that put in those positions can finish some games like that because that's how, how we're going to win. We're not going to blow people out. We're going to win close games. We're going to be in close games if we're doing our job. And so for us, we have to have some success doing it. Um, this team, 
you know, has accomplished some special things. Most people don't know much about it, but the World University Game gold medal that we won uh, representing the United States was remarkable. And we won like four games like this where we were behind and came back and won or somebody on our team made, made big free throws or a shot or we had to get two stops in a row in the last 30 seconds to win. Um, so our team, this, this team has won some games like that. Uh, and it's ironic because last year's team, more talented, we lost a bunch of them. It just, we didn't seem, that shot by Brandon Robinson would have gone in and it would have been, you know, another over. I mean, I, mean, I, I lived that last year. It was, you know, the same kind of things. Or a mere shot would not have gone in. Um, and so sometimes you got to be a little bit lucky. Today we were a little bit fortunate, no question. Um, and we'll hopefully build on this and, and it gives our guys confidence to play well in this league. I know you said the street doesn't mean as much as people may think it does in Clemson, but we saw the post-game celebration on the yeah. floor. I see some of it in your hair mm -hmm. right now, I think, too. What exactly does it mean to you guys? It just means that we don't have to deal with it anymore, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's, it's always great to, to win games like this, especially, again, the way we won the game, too, like to come back and to keep fighting for 40 minutes when you're, you don't have your best stuff for a while. And it doesn't look like you're going to win. And then your guys just keep trying to play the next play, win the next play, put us in a position to give us a chance. Let's put some pressure on them to make a mistake. And then can we capitalize? And then all of a sudden, you do that, and then in overtime, you got to go win again. You have to go win, win the next five minutes in Chapel Hill with the streak on the line and the pressure and everything with it. And our guys didn't buckle. Like, we played great in the last five minutes. And uh, so our team, like, to win it that way, I think, is really special. Uh, and obviously, it meant a lot to our guys. We got a couple kids from North Carolina on our team. Um, you know, they probably hear about it even more than than the rest of us. But uh, there's no question this was a significant win. I'm not trying to downplay it at all. This was this was a big time win for our guys. For you, Hurst. Go, go ahead. What's going on? Not much. How you doing? Good. Okay. Uh, you mentioned uh, past games, and you've had two big comebacks this year. Yeah. TCU back in yes. November, and this one. How are they similar? How are they different? Uh. You know, the TCU game, uh, Amir led us back again. Uh, he made some big-time plays. Uh, there were really a lot of similarities. I don't know if we made quite as many threes down the stretch, um, but we were being outplayed, and we were being outplayed today. And in both games, we just kind of kept playing. And uh, our guys have had a knack for just not giving in. And we have executed well in late games when we needed it, and this, this team has done that in both those games.